A quick disclaimer before we get into the video, as you can probably tell, the sound quality isn't perfect, you know, it's perfectly, in my opinion, watchable still. But yeah, obviously, as you can tell, I, I don't really record often with a phone or anything, so hence why the audio quality isn't probably as good as it usually is. But obviously, hopefully, you know, you guys still want to enjoy this video nonetheless, but yeah, just, just a quick warning before we get into it. Hello everyone and welcome back guys to a bit of a different video. Now a couple of weeks back I put something on Twitter, I can't even remember what it was exactly, it was about a race I was going to be doing, it was just a picture of my setup and I got a few nice comments on there, so I thought the best thing to do was to make a brand new setup video. Now I think I made one of these when I moved into this house, and I haven't made another one since, so it, it's changed quite a lot, I'll try and make sure I leave a link uh, sort of in the top right hand side of the screen, if you click that little eye then obviously you can go check that one out. See how much it's sort of changed? It sort of has, it sort of hasn't. It's a bit weird, you'll understand obviously if you watch both. But we start, you know, at my door. I've got this little sign so people know if I'm like live streaming or recording or something, they know not to come in because, well, as you'll see, my family are actually on another computer in here as well. So this is sort of like a quick overrun of the room. Uh, over here we've sort of just got my parents' computer. They, It's actually mainly used by my sister on Photoshop. So she's in here sometimes, you can see she's left it, her side, sort of in a mess, as you can tell. But then obviously move over into my side, as you can see, sort of got all this. And I'll sort of run from left to right, sort of go through everything. I'll try to make sure I leave links down in the description below to as much stuff as I possibly can. But I'll probably forget a few things, so obviously if there's any questions about what I've got, if I do miss something out that you want to know, just leave it in the comments, I'll try to make sure I answer every question I get. So to start, we've pretty much just got, well, we've got a plant pot in the corner there, I don't really know why, and then a jar, and then just a chair with a little footstool that I never really use, and then just behind that we've got uh, boxes, uh, my wheel, my pedals, my Xbox, I've got a PS4 one under there, and pretty much everything else. Generally I like to keep boxes because, well, if you're trying to resell something, then it's usually worth more if you've got the box, so you, you've effectively just got free money there, so that's one tip from me. I've also got a, a little picture, well I say picture, a little I just can't even think of the right word now. Um, but yeah, a little sign from my friend uh, Carrick, who I used to play with a lot more. I don't really speak to him so much now. But yeah, he, made, he got me that for Christmas a couple of years back. And I don't know why he always liked to say that, but that was just Carrick. He was, he, he, was, he was fun in his own way. And then I've also got a poster from, I think it's... Um, I, I can't actually remember where it is from now. It does actually say on the underside there. I do need to put that back up uh, very soon. But yeah, I sort of forgot to until now. And then we move on to sort of like this uh, little chest, well it's almost like a chest of drawers but obviously it's just shelves. On the top we've got my Xbox One, I've got an OG Day One Edition Xbox One uh, with a one terabyte external hard drive on there, obviously just to give me more storage. That is then also plugged into a couple of things on the back as well. Uh, yeah, so that one, I've got it on the top because it does just about fit in these little cubes underneath, but cooling on the Xbox One is not particularly brilliant, especially on the old ones. So I've left it up there, so it's got a bit more space to breathe. And then we've got my Xbox 360, if I just move that cable out of the way. Yeah, we've got my Xbox 360, uh, Forza 4 on there, I don't really know why, I don't even think... Uh, excuse me, Forza 4 is even in there. And then next to that, we've got my PlayStation 4, I got it for Christmas last year. I haven't really played it too much, I did a stream on Gran Turismo Sport a couple of weeks back now. But I, yeah, sort of never really have got into that all too much. So I, I, I'm i actually signed up now to an AOR league that hopefully should be kicking off soon. So hopefully I'll be able to play my PS4 a bit more. Uh, if you want to add me on PSN, it's EVR Mat 212 no spaces. Xbox, it's EVR space Mat 212 So obviously if you want to add me on any of that, then you can. Then below that, we've sort of got uh, pretty much just my Xbox One games. Dirt 4, obviously qualified, ranked P7 in the world. On Xbox, F1 2016, Forza's more dirt, F1 2015, uh, GTA, a set of course, and then Wolfenstein, which my dad plays, and then F1 2017, PC2, and Forza 7, sort of the main three games that I play. You may notice that one is very oddly coloured. It's actually the promo copy I got from Codemasters last year. So it's, it's almost in grayscale, almost, and then we've got a box for my Galaxy Watch, and then headphones and a fan there if I get warm, and all that sort of thing. And then a bit further down... Uh, we've got my Xbox, well, we've pretty much got every other game pretty much that I have, so things like uh, a few old F1 games, you know, I want to try and get back in, I've got a couple of plans for career modes that I want to do over the next few months, you know, before F1 2018 drops, most notably in this one, I mentioned this in a stream a couple of weeks back, I will be trying to do an F1 Championship Edition career mode very, very soon, I know Tim Marduk's just restarted his, but 
I sort of want to do one uh, once my F1 2005 career mode's done. So it's sort of obviously, if I get that back in focus, there we are. So yeah, I sort of want to do one of those after I finish my F1 2005 career mode. And then obviously that would be sort of a nice lead on to F1 2006. Then we've got F1, pretty much all the F1 Codemasters games. We've got 2010, 2011, 2012, 2013. Don't have 2014 on my Xbox. Have it on computer though, which I'll get to soon. And then obviously we've just got random other games that I want to get into. Uh, then we've just got DVDs. You know, I've got a couple of F1 season reviews, Top Gear, Family Guy, all that sort of random stuff. You know, don't really watch those all too many, but you know, it's nice if I'm bored some nights. If I ever want to watch something like that. And then we've got my uh, phone box Galaxy S7. That's currently what I'm using to film this. Don't have any sort of professional camera or anything like that. So that's what I'm going with. For this, it films in 1080 60fps at very good quality, I think. So obviously, well, you, you can decide how good the quality is obviously based on this video. And then we move over into my desk, as you can see, sort of probably what most people want to see, but obviously that bit is still sort of fairly crucial as well. Cables, as you can see, sort of run down there. Uh, cable management is not my strong point. Unfortunately, uh, for a lot of things, I have to move cables around a lot, as I'll sort of explain in a minute. So the cables underneath are a bit of a mess in quite a lot of places. But nonetheless, first of all, as you can see, we've got my TV. Uh, Samsung 32-inch, got that a couple of years back. I use it pretty much just to play games. Uh, whether that be on computer or on Xbox or PlayStation 4. It's also obviously what I use when I'm streaming and things. Uh, we've got a couple of connects on there, Xbox One and Xbox 360, as well as a Logitech uh, C920. Pretty much just the YouTube or webcam, I think. So, yeah, it's uh, obviously I use that for streaming as well. When I do face cam as well as obviously face cam recordings here and there. You know, it's fairly rare to use for videos, but I generally like to use it on streams, which is quite nice. And then sort of just above that, we've got my headset. The HyperX Cloud 2s, if I'm not mistaken, brilliant, brilliant headphones. I got them on Amazon on a sale a couple of, I mean, probably last year now. And they work with Xbox, they work with PS4, they work with my PC, but I don't use them on computer, as I'll show you in a minute. They work pretty much with everything that has a 3.5mm aux jack, which is pretty much standard. So they're really, really ideal to have. You know, good quality mic as well for the price. And obviously, if you're in the market for a cheap headset, I would highly, highly recommend checking them out. And then sort of above that, we've got my hat collection. Unfortunately, I need to get a new one because it's, well, as you'll see, I've got um, for that side and then for that side. But I wanted nine, obviously, so then it's sort of in center. So as you can see, uh, if I run through them all then, uh, we've got my uh, Aston Martin TF Sport from Le Mans 24 last year. That was actually from Nicky Tim. For those of you that, you know, watch sim racing, obviously you guys will have heard of him. I actually won that in one of his Christmas giveaways, which was really nice. Uh, then I've got an F1 eSports hat from when Cody's invited me out last year after doing the commentary for that. So I've got that one. Uh, Renault Sport hat as well. You know, Julian Palmer fan. Got to have one of those. A OG Jensen Button Vodafone hat from a couple of years back. A Haas hat, which I won signed by Grosjean and Gutierrez and also Haas. Thanks to that. Follow me on Twitter as well, which is really nice. A McLaren hat as well from 2016 or 2015. I can't quite remember. And then a 2017 McLaren hat as well. As well, finally, as an official Nicky Tim hat as well, which obviously I also won from that competition. So yeah, there's my hat collection. Sort of always trying to expand that as much as I can. Generally, what I do is just go on to like F1 sites and like buy their clearance stuff from the year before. Because ultimately, you know, I'm not willing to pay 30 quid for a hat. But you can usually get some pretty good deals. I think I got the 2017 McLaren one for a fiver. So obviously, you can't really go wrong with something like that. As well as, you know, obviously you just want to make sure... I'm expanding the collection, but as I said, you know, unfortunately at the moment it's off center. I need one more and then I'll get it back. I'm thinking about getting a Pascal Verlaine one, you know, Rip Pascal in Formula One. But then further there, obviously we've got my TV, as I said. And then we go down to my wheel. Now I get a lot of questions about my wheel, obviously being quite competitive, you know, on esports and things. Obviously you want to have the right uh, materials and machinery. So yeah, this is a Thrustmaster TMX, as you can just see there. A very good budget wheel, I'm not going to lie, it's fantastic, you know, I've had it for over a year now, as you can see there's quite a few marks from just general wear and tear, but yeah, fantastic wheel on the whole. Unfortunately, the one issue I have, and this is always an issue I've had with Thrustmaster pedals, is the fact that the ones that always come with it are broke within about six months of just general use, which is why now I've got the T3PAs. Uh, these are the standard ones, you know, I didn't really feel I needed the Pro pedals, so those are very, very good as well. They are so much better than the standard ones, you know, if you can find these, 
for a better price than the standard. Well, I say if you can find them for a better price than the standard ones, just upgrade to these. You know, there's no real point in trying to risk the plastic ones. They're not very good. Uh, so yeah, those are that's my wheel. Wheel stand is very cheap. Uh, it's I think it was about fifty quid off Amazon when I bought it, and it's basically just I'll probably use it for as long as it survives. It's broken a couple of times. Uh, it's held together now by glue, as you can see at the bottom. So it does move around a lot in my lap. The screws have fallen out plenty of times. So yeah, it's it's pretty much. I feel like it's been on its last legs since the day I got it. And from what I hear about a lot of people, you just want to go with like a GTA Mega one instead. Speaking of GT Omega though, I actually have my GT Omega racing chair. That's not sponsored or anything. Uh, I actually won that one on a Twitter giveaway a couple of months back uh, from a content creator that I watch who does like PC builds. So obviously if any of you have heard of Geekawatt Gaming, I follow him, yeah. So I won that one in a Twitter giveaway, which was quite nice. Obviously nice to have a proper chair. That was actually my old one. So as you can see, this one's this one's a bit better. I won't lie, you know, it's it's slightly, it's a noticeable improvement. On the whole, and then we move over to my computer, where as you can see there are a huge mess of cables just behind that. Uh, specs on my computer, because I know a lot of people are interested in that. Uh, Ryzen 7 1700, a water cooled. I haven't overclocked it. People go, but well, why did you water cool it if it's not overclocked? It gets very warm in here, and my old AMD PC really struggled. It was like thermal throttle and then crashed, so I was like, you know what, I'm not even going to worry about overclocking. I'm just going to try and make sure it's cool enough all the time. Uh, that one, even on full load, never even goes above, above about 45 degrees. So obviously, if you guys know about computers, then you'll know that is pretty damn good. Uh, graphics card is a GTX 1050 Ti. I sort of bought this computer when, you know, graphics cards were ridiculously expensive. So I got the 1050 Ti because it wasn't really affected too much by cryptocurrency mining. So that's why I've gone with that. And generally, you know, a lot of people say, well, you should just go with the 1060. It's much better. The 1050 Ti, I generally never really had any issues with in terms of any games. That includes F1 2017 on PC. You know, everyone's 60 FPS on, I think, high settings, if I'm not mistaken. So it's certainly, you know, it doesn't need to worry about that. Uh, I've got 8 gig of DDR4 memory, uh, 2 terabyte internal hard drive, 2 terabyte external hard drive, so 4 obviously overall and then uh, other specs there's not really too much else to talk about i don't think really apart from that obviously running windows 10 and everything else so if there's sort of any more questions about that then feel free to ask them in the comments i've probably forgot something that people want to know about it the case yeah that's probably the last thing uh is a sharkoon case i got it off pc specialists as you can tell by the branding on the front would highly highly recommend them obviously if you, like me you're terrible at building things so i decided yeah i may as well no point risking it. It is raised off the floor, as you can see, by those two metal planks. Uh, sorry, two wooden planks, even, just to try and make sure that it's not this carpet is pretty damn thick. So it's just trying to make sure that I don't have any sort of... It doesn't stick to the floor, get very dusty, and then have more issues than it you know needs to do. So in terms of then above the desk, as you can see, this is obviously where my computer is. Got two monitors. We'll sort of talk about those in a minute. Keyboard is a Razer Chroma mechanical one. You know, I'm not like a Razer fanboy or anything else. I got it on sale uh, probably near enough a year ago now off Amazon. Uh, so, yeah, that's why I got that one. And then to complete the set, obviously, I've got a Razer Chroma mouse as well. Both RGB and everything like that, although it really it's not that important. And then I've got, for, you know, almost a £200 keyboard and mouse combo. I've then got about a £5 mouse mat, which has actually got wrist support because, well, I don't know if you can hear that particularly well, but I do suffer, you know, with you know, wrist injuries, which, you know, I think, yeah, that, that usually goes into a dangerous area. If any of you have seen, like, Counter-Strike clips and stuff before, you'll probably know what I'm referring to there, but yeah. Um, in terms of controllers, as you can see, I've got two PS4 controllers on the left, uh, two Xbox 360s in the middle, then two Xbox One controllers on the right. Uh, those are mainly because you might think, well, why do you have two controllers? My dad and I race each other a lot. Generally, if I get a new console, my dad and I will go halves on a second controller. We just like generally just rating each other. So we usually have quite good fun with that. So, and they're all actually on Venom charging docks, which a lot of people are sort of a bit skeptical about. I personally really, really like them. You know, they are fantastic to use. You save so much money on batteries, obviously, with Xbox deciding, you know, still that batteries are the way forward for controllers. And then obviously PlayStation, you know, you've just got them plugged in as well. They're really, really ideal to have, you know, you can't rate them enough. So obviously that is that one, yeah. But highly, highly recommend them. You can get the docks for about 15 quid and you save batteries. You save the battery cost in probably about a year and obviously you can use them for a lot longer than that. Just before I forget, actually, uh, first of all, 
uh, Elgato HD60, obviously used to record games. And then I've got a blue Snowball, obviously the just stereotypical YouTuber mic as well with a pop filter on top of that. On a, I think it's a newer, uh, yeah, sorry, a newer boom arm there, really, really ideal to have. So that means obviously if I'm recording, well, live streaming, then I can have it like that. Over there, obviously, in front of my TV. And then, obviously, if I am making, like, post comming something, you know, by my computer, then I can have it like that as well. So it's really ideal, you know, to have it in the middle and then be able to move it between the two. And then, well, apart from that, we've sort of got... Uh, we've got my two monitors. Uh, people always say, why the hell have you got two different monitors? I personally like to have one sort of main monitor, obviously being the AOC one that's slightly bigger. Uh, it's an AOC, uh, as you can tell there, E2460, yes. So I got that off a of mate actually a couple of years back. So that's quite good. And then I've got an Acer K222HQL, both 1080p, uh, both cheap. You know, I'm not really, well, I say cheap. They're just, you know, very good price monitors. Uh, you know, I, I don't play 4K. I don't worry about 4K. I don't worry about high refresh rates or anything. So they're both, you know, 60 hertz, 1080p, five millisecond response times, everything like that. Pretty damn standard. Then just below that, I've actually got a Steamlink. I bought that in the Steam sale last year for, I think, £4. So I thought, why not? It's really useful. And never, you know, I don't even think it's plugged in properly. So I don't really use that one all too much. And then a Xbox 360 controller there, you know, third one. That is pretty much just used in my PC at the moment. Actually, the main use I've had for it recently is taking photos for my F105 mod career mode. The thumbnails, yeah, so I try to use in-game photos and I pretty much just go straight to that. To do that and then go back to my wheel when I'm doing that. And then just a couple of little bits and bobs around the pair of them. Just next to that, I've got a Nokia 360 speaker. I got that with an old Nokia phone I had a couple of years back. Easter egg and then my, uh, I forgot what the, Audio Technica, that's the one. Uh, AT20s, I think. I can't remember, you know, I can't remember. I think it's like the AT50s. I like the really good ones. These are the AT20s for like 50 quid. They've got a really long, uh, the, the aux cable, which I really needed. So that's quite ideal. Then I usually just plug them into the side of my keyboard, like I'll show you now. So I can just plug them just into there, if I can actually get it in. And then obviously they work absolutely fine. Yeah, so it's quite nice to have them nice and easily just there. But yeah, the overall then, I think that is pretty much my setup summed up. It seems like, obviously, you've been going for 17 minutes now. I generally, you know, sort of prefer to go into more detail with this sort of thing. Over, you know, I see a lot of people that go, that's my camera, that's my mic, that's my wheel, and then don't really sort of explain anything about any of it. And that's really, really frustrating to see. So hopefully, you know, you guys have enjoyed it quite in depth on the whole. But obviously, as I said, you know, I prefer doing it that way over, you know, hopefully that means you guys won't need to ask so many questions about it all. But as I said at the start, if you've got any questions about any of this, uh, do not forget to leave it down in the comments below. Obviously, I'll try and make sure I answer all of them. But yeah, hopefully you know you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, do not forget to like, subscribe if you're new around here as well uh, for more, obviously, motorsport-based content. I'm getting very, very close to the end of my F1 2005 mod career mode. Uh, F106, as I said, hopefully should be coming out after that. So make sure you're subscribed for that. And hopefully I will see you guys in the next video.